Today we are taking a look at the new PlayStation 5 Slim that came out around uh, 3 months ago in November 25th, uh, 2023. We'll do unboxing, uh, talk about differences uh, between these two consoles and uh, yeah, you can get it with a disk drive or you can get it without as a digital version. I bought a digital version because a friend of mine told me it's better than getting disk drive console because digital version lasts longer so that's something you should consider before buying the ps5 slim however a disk drive add-on can be bought separately should you wish to use uh, physical discs uh, at a later date for an extra 70 or 80 euros something like that console was released in november 25th uh, 2023 so even though i have normal one I decided to buy slim version and compare them. The price may vary. I got this one for 645 euros, which is okay price, but you can definitely get it cheaper. Depends where you live. Let's open it and see what's inside. The new PS5 slim comes in a white box with a PlayStation blue on the top with the PlayStation logo and symbols looking very similar with being slightly smaller than the original PC one. So package includes a power cable, a bag containing the fit, the USB-C charging cable, a HDMI 2.1 cable, a white joystick which is exactly like the original one, some documentation and finally the PlayStation 5 Slim. That's everything that comes with this device all together which is nice in the packaging. Taking a look at the console, it really looks good. It has similar design to the original PS5, but it looks a lot smaller and thinner. It has a PlayStation symbol at the bottom of the console. Connection-wise, the console is slightly different than the original one, as it now has two USB-C ports on the front, together with a power button and an eject button. So what makes PS5 slim different than the original one? The original PlayStation 5 models released in 2020 offer nearly identical designs and specifications. The only real difference between them is the absence of the 4K Blu-ray uh, drive on the digital version, along with being unable to play games and movies on Blu-ray disc. The original digital edition PS5 is slightly thinner and weights uh, about 600 uh, grams less than the standard version. The new PS5 Slim and PS5 uh, Slim Digital Edition that were released in November 2023 are about 30% smaller than the original models and have one terabyte solid state drive. Once again, the most important difference between each Slim PS5 is that the Digital Edition option does not include a disk drive. However, the Slim Edition PS5 allows you to add on a 4K Blu-ray drive later if you'd like. This feature is not available with the original PS5 Digital Edition. Outside slight differences in hardware, all versions of the PS5 deliver the exact same game performance. That includes support for gameplay at uh, up to 4K resolution 120 and 120 frames per second on computable displays. Lightning fast load uh, times uh, thanks to the console's solid uh, state drive and an advanced uh, graphical features like uh, great tracing uh, on select games. Every PS5 comes with the same DualSense controller joystick which offers haptic feedback and has a built-in microphone and they support all of the best PlayStation accessories. When it comes to digital purchases of PlayStation games are tied to your Sony account. The PlayStation Store is the only place you can buy digital games, so the owners of the PS5 Digital Edition won't be able to take advantage of uh, deals uh, at retail stores like uh, GameStop and uh, Best Buy. Keep in mind, however, many physical games still require an internet connection and significant PS5 storage space to install and play. This means that going with a disc copy on a standard PS5 won't save you hard drive space versus downloading the game. So let's take a look at the specs. Storage 1TB M.2 drive 
Academy out up to 4K resolution at uh, 120 Hz with uh, HDMI uh, 2.1 cable ports, uh, X2 USB C's, X2 USB uh, 3.1s, and uh, X1 uh, Ethernet. Uh, CPU AMD Reason uh, Zen 2, 8 cores, 16 threads, and uh, 3.5 GHz. GPU AMD Radeon RDNA2 at uh, 2.23 GHz, 10.3 TFLOPs. Memory uh, GDDR6, 16 GB, 44 GB uh, bandwidth. Physical difference between PS5 and PS5 Slim is that this uh, PS5 uh, Slim is uh, thinner, lighter build, modular design, excellent performance, robust game library, modular design, easy to remove face plates and SSD. The PS5 Slim is the Sony console we should have gotten at the beginning of this generation. I'm still not enamored with the overall design but its smaller footprint is appreciated other than the new design. This is still the same phenomenal system it's always been, featuring speedy performance, ray tracing and a ton of incredible games. So is it worth getting PS5 Slim in 2024? Well that depends guys. Console is amazing, it's a real deal. Everything is running so smooth on best possible graphics, 9 out of 10. But, I paid it 645 euros, plus I added some expensive games such as Elden Ring, Demon Souls, Lord of the Fallen etc etc, so in the end it was 800 or even 900 euros, and for some people that's a lot of money. Average salary over here is like 450 euros, which means that you have to work 2 or 3 months and save as much as possible to afford this. So, think twice uh, before you... Before you decide what to do. Yeah, that's my advice to you. That will be pretty much it. Leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what your experience with uh, digital uh, PS5 Slim. Not only PS5 Slim uh, Digital, but uh, normal one as well. And uh, yeah, cheers.